Uh, it's certainly interesting having uh, six different competitors all playing the same composer. It's a really kind of even um, field, if you like, to, to uh, be able to compare one competitor with another. Um, certainly really interesting for us to play um, each work with two different people. Uh, and I think for the audience this time around, as compared to previous years, we're getting uh, you know, a nice, even uh, concert each night. Um, in the past we have had how many Mendelssohns? Four Mendel Mendelssohns? At least four. Yeah, or you know, lots of Dumki trio. So this way we're getting uh, you know, quite an interesting um, evening, but also the chance to really compare apples with apples. I find it very interesting to prepare um, not know who I'm going to play with and not knowing how they're going to play but just somehow I need to get into the music but at the same time I can't get into it so far that I'm inflexible you know yeah. I mean I have to be very flexible and open because you never know what they're going to throw you the only thing I do anticipate is that they want to play much faster than I would normally <laughs> play <laughs> so I do try and practice high speeds <laughs> and I'm usually right about that <laughs> I think we kind of tend to uh, leave the competitor to run the rehearsal pretty much and see um, it's really interesting for us to see who uh, has a really clear sense of what they want to achieve with the rehearsal and on the other hand who is uh, interested and open to listening to um, us create uh, a unified ensemble where some, some people kind of really are, are acting as soloists um, with accompaniment, <laughs> others are trying to find a, a a homogenous whole, which is, you know, that, that's, that can be fascinating, really eye-opening. Basically, I think you let them lead by their playing. You know, I mean, there's not that much talk. A lot of the talk is organising Boeings, and yeah. you have to make a lot of changes for each of the players. I mean, I don't have to change anything, really, but mm. you have to make a lot of changes. So a lot of it is that sort of technical detail, but basically you just sort of listen to their playing and you get an idea of how they're going to go through the piece. And you kind of stick with that. But like in general they won't, I, in general I don't get too many bits of advice from the violinist. I mean I'm very happy to receive it, but basically most of the time, sometimes they will just a little bit, could you do this, could you do that, how are you going to play that little ornament there, and I, that's good. But mainly they just sort of leave me alone and I try to do whatever they're doing. But Ashley has to, uh, there's a lot of, you do all the negotiating really. Yeah we do a lot of uh, bowing if we find that um, if our bowing is different and that's creating uh, something that's, uh, you know, like a different phrasing. Um, you know, if, if it seems like an important issue, then we might discuss and, fi and find a way through. And generally it tends to be two-way street. Um, we discuss and work out, you know, the, the, the phrasing is clear and if someone has a very strong sense of what the phrasing ought to be, then, then we go with it um, and, and find a way that is going to help project that whole musical idea to everybody who's here. I get the enjoyment of the concerts. I mean, I enjoy the rehearsal process too, but I really get the enjoyment from the concerts. I think repertoire like this, it's just fabulous to play this in public to people and have them listen to it. <laughs> I live for that. And so, um, in the normal course of my life, I actually don't have many opportunities to play piano trios. And it's fabulous repertoire. So, yeah the concerts for me. Yeah, we got off stage yesterday and both of us basically collapsed and said, oh, man, these days are just <laughs> crazy. <laughs> it was very, very intense days, you know, an hour and a half rehearsal with each uh, competitor and then half an hour break, in which time we're usually practicing what we've just kind of, you know, reimagined in the music and, and then preparing for the next competitor to arrive. So really intense days and then a really intense concert, um, knowing that's so important for yeah, the, the competitor, you know, we're sure we're, we're here on stage and, and what, making sure that we're sounding our best, but supporting each competitor and, and, and as fairly as possible, you know. But um, yeah, just absolutely it's so exciting, especially to have uh, several different performances of one work and understanding how different it can be with just one of three changing out. You know, you get, so you get two performances of the same work over these two nights and they'll just be completely different pieces of music. You feel the pressure, I think, a bit. You don't want to screw up. You don't want to be the one that makes it, that distracts them, you know. They can't be sitting there thinking, oh, what's happened to the piano player tonight today? <laughs> After all that practice I did today and he's mucking it up. You know, you can't afford, you've got to be on your game. <laughs>